Hello my friend, thank you for clicking to this video. If you are new on this trade, you might be asking, what is that machine for? A white double needle post machine instead of a regular double needle machine. Well, my friend, on this video, I, I will be talking about this machine and I will show you what you can do with this machine. Let's start it. If you are going to put a frame stitch in a seat cover or in a headrest or in a backrest cover, you can do that in a regular double needle sewing machine. But why a post machine if I can do the same in a regular sewing machine? Using a post sewing machine to put a top stitch or to put a French stitch will be so much easier, especially my headrest cover, armrest cover, and backrest and a seat cover. Of course, my friend, first you have to learn how to use it. But as soon as you get it, you will see how fast and easy it is to put a, a French stitch or top stitch. And I will say 95% of all covers. As you can see the bottom, I have a few man with this machine. And the part, if you want to remove it, if you want to check underneath the sewing machine, you have to remove that part. How you will remove it? Yes pull it and then you just push it and it's locked and it comes with that container that container is like a drain I think when you put too much oil will uh, uh, come out in there and you can reuse it or throw it away it have a servo motor uh, there is the servo motor is adjustable like always easy to handle, easy to repair uh, repair or replace. Uh, it, this machine comes with the uh, extra oil. Uh, there is a bottle with the oil, it's half away. If you want to buy this machine, you can search online uh, by that mor uh, model. Apostry NC machine, that is the company that is selling. And there is the model machine, one more time model NC post and there's the place the company there's the address just search online and you will find that place and they have a lot of machine in case if you are not sure which machine do you need ask them and they will advise which one is the right machine for you there is sewing machine NC sewing machine A58 Summer Avenue Norwell New Jersey that reverses this uh, handle right here. You just uh, push it down and to reverse. The bigger stitch right here is nine millimeter. And then you can uh, resize, follow it, that no, those number. And then you can adjust it right here. And all depend uh, how thick it is the material in there. It will uh, make the stitch lo uh, longer too. That's how I can that uh, sewing machine. Because it is a double needle, it have a double thread, and it have a bobbin refill. I just buy some extra cases for the bobbin, and you can buy the bobbin ready made too. Lift the foot press, and you can see that uh, guy right there. One more thing guys, maybe you haven't seen in this function when you move this handle to the left. It is a split needle. Will stop the left needle, the left part will stop. If you move it to the right, it will stop the right needle, the right bar. What is that for? Uh, we are supposed to we need that function yes we need it it's especially for the corner for the corner doing corner okay let's disengage one needle and we're going to use this machine just to uh, put a regular stitch you can do that so easily you can do that in a regular double needle machine but you have to remove the needle. On this one, it is not necessary to remove the needle. 
you just test in case left or right bar and that's more than enough to put a regular stitch you see first i'm going to remove that thread from one needle and i'm going to use the right needle that's the needle that i'm going to use i have to uh, press it right there that disengage the left needle and now we'll be using the right needle if i want to use the other needle i just push it to the right and i will use the outside needle or left simple and easier i will remove this thread yes i will remove from the top because it might uh, give me a hard time right there i just going to pull it out to right there Okay, that needle is, is. I am using the 210 needle thickness. It is a thick thread. If I uh, wanna use the 270, this machine is not gonna work with that needle. So, see, I push the needle in, and you can see one needle is locked. That's the bar for you. So I'm going to put a regular stitch in there. Reverse and you can see. This much uh, this thread it is too thick to put a regular uh, uh, a stitch. Especially those stitches that are going underneath. that needle is not moving. If I want both needles to move or to sewing, I have to put the part on the, on the center of zero. Perfect. You can see it right there. Like I say, that thread that I am using is a 210. Um, you can use a 270 on my uh, console sewing machine. I use the 270, um, T270 thread, and it worked perfectly. But on this one, no, I cannot use that one. It's too thick for this machine. And I keep going sewing. I will put a, I will left a, a material underneath in there, I just cut it. And check the stitch is gorgeous and now I will put a top stitch in there you have a guy it is so much easier with accessories so much easier you can get the jump faster than using the other machine I made the stitch big course you have to split the material uh, pull it to the side of the needle not just put it uh, put him in there and sewing no you can see how it fit in that thing there is like a little a small bump in there and that helps you to keep the material in place I just cut a material and leave it on there and let's see it. You can see how beautiful it is that top stitch in there. And look, it is straight. That machine have a, like a tear in there, little, a little small bump, you can see, and that help you to keep the material in place. It help you. You have to have a kind of control when you are sewing too. Let's put it back to zero. 
if you are learning how to put a how to put a tap stitch or frame stitch and you know always when we are learning it is so hard for us to put a nice tap stitch it is so hard because it's always crooked it doesn't look beautiful and blah 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 well if you are learning this machine will help you a lot but i recommend you uh learn the whole process in a regular uh sewing uh sewing machine especially in tap stitch and then when you get how to do it on those machine jump it to this one beautiful stitch right it's a nine millimeter length awesome i love it but that material it doesn't have a phone in the back it doesn't have a padding see something else that i want to show you right here this machine used a big a bobbin which one is a uh, excellent and i buy some uh black and white sometimes uh the color of the thread exposed and we have to uh use that case in refill with a right color thread sometimes but most of the time we use black we use white uh gray or red on the bottom now i'm going to sew another uh thickness uh material and let's see if it does stitch keep the same size this is a quarter of an inch uh, headliner underneath the binder and i would put a tap stitch in there like i say it is so easy and faster look how i fit in that button like nothing and let's see that that stitch is straight I want to show you something this process it is normal in most of the sewing machine you see the stitch in there it's bigger it's bigger let's compare right there is a smaller and you only have a quarter of an inch thickness headliner you can adjust it right here but uh, i adjusted and that is all that i can adjust if i move it back the stitch will be a little bit small there is the biggest that is stitch is still good eh? it's still perfect i like it it's not that big and it's not that small perfect for most of the job sometimes and you know guys you you have been doing that uh, or working on this trade for a long time ago you know sometimes we use a, a thickness phone like half inch thickness and we have to put a top stitch in there and we just get it and let's find out how big it is this stitch on here It is the smallest, but it's still good. It's still good. I use a half inch. Okay, I noticed that uh, thickness that I'm sewing, the stitch is getting the smallest, and the smallest. That's what I noticed. But that stitch is still beautiful in there. And you have a half inch font right there uh it's kind of too big you know i love big stitch especially when we are sewing like a uh sun visor or any like sometimes we use a, a three quarter of an inch font and we put please in there I made a stitch big in there. Something else that you can do with this machine is, you know, uh, sometimes when you put a frame stitch, you, put, you reinforce that frame stitch underneath and you put a thin uh, material, thin fabric. Well, you can do that with this machine. Simple. It's simplified. Simplified. 
and now we'll try them on this piece. See right there? The uh, white material will be there. This is just an example. Did you get it? And start sewing. And you don't have to worry about to keep that uh, thin material in place. The machine help you. Of course, you have to be, uh, watch them sometime just to make sure it's not moving to the side. And I got it. Just got it right here. And you can see the white material is on there. And that is perfect. Okay. Here is what I was talking about. That is just an example. I put uh, some pieces of material together and I'm going to put a tap stitch in there. You can do this in a regular double needle sewing machine. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. I just put the material in there and I start sewing. The post machine is help you in there. It is easier, of course, you have to keep the material in place because remember, if you are sewing a big backrest cover, uh, you have to have the control. Or the way the machine will sew it, but it might be crooked. See the post? The material try uh, tending to mold it into that post. And there is the French stitch. This is an example. I didn't put nothing on the bottom. I did uh, tacking in there, but you can see that top stitch. In this NC post machine. Question: I asked that you see uh, what this machine can do. What is your opinion? I leave it in the comment section of this video. If you have this kind of machine and do you think I didn't cover a part of what this machine can do, please leave it in the comment section of this video. I will appreciate it. As I say, this is machine, uh, this is a post machine, especially for upholstery, and the company who sell it is a NC machine. In case if you want to buy a post machine, first question that you should ask to yourself is do I uh, do a lot of French stitch, top stitch? If your answer is yes, you might be in best. Remember, any invest that you make in a sewing machine, sooner or later that machine will pay by itself. It will make, it will make the job easier and faster. I noticed two small things in this sewing machine, but compared to what uh, this machine offer, it's nothing. But I'm going to uh, mention these two things. First thing that I noticed that uh, this thing from one thread to another one, one stick to another one is a quarter of an inch. Uh, one of my friends was telling me that uh, I can increase the distance just by buying one accessory. And I will, because I want that, uh, that space between one stitch to another one. And one more thing, when I add a half inch to the material and I put a top stitch, that top stitch is getting the smallest. I would like to be like a little bit bigger, but I know and I'm going to be honest with you. Mercedes, BMW, and Acura, a lot of different European car, the stitch is small. And you can see that is a Mercedes cover from the factory, from the dealer, and you can see the stitch. The distance between one stitch to another one is a quarter of an inch. And the length of the stitch is as small as than the one that I put on the half inch uh, phone. So, a lot of brand that I stitch is the smallest. And I understand why. Because imagine a high end interior with the biggest stitch. My personal opinion, most of the time it doesn't look good. The stitch has to be small. 
Now I know the length of the stitch of this machine. If you ask me, will you buy another machine from them by knowing that the stitch is small? Yes, my friend, I will buy another machine exactly like this if I need it from this company. If you wanna buy one from them, just uh, uh, call them. They have a very good services and they give you a two year warranty. Mm, what else? Oh, the price, the price. Uh, I think a lot of you were waiting for the price. The price is $4,500. Today is 5 night 2021. I don't know if they have a special. If they have a special, maybe uh, might be lower or maybe they will give you some accessory. I don't know, but that is the price. You have to ask them. So thank you, my friend, for uh, watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget to uh, hit the like button and any comment, leave it in the comment section of this video. Uh, see you soon in another video.